feel me? <laughs> Look. <laughs> he don't even. He done got so comfortable, he don't even do the countdown or nothing. Yeah, what happened to five, four, yeah, what three, to two, one? We like the Hollywood because we got people in here. Right, right. Getting right. too Hollywood for us. What's up with y'all, though? <laughs> What's up with y'all, though? What's up I like with to check on y'all first before we intro. I like to check on y'all mental health, see how y'all been. What's mental up with you? Mental health. Word. We got to talk to each other. We got to, you know what I'm saying? I'm active. My birthday next week, I'm active. Oh, yeah. Word. How you doing, Jay? Happy birthday to you. Because uh, we won't be podcasting. Mm-hmm. So let's say happy birthday we gonna now. We're going to be out birthday, the fuck man. outside. We're going to be outside. What you got planned for your birthday? What you got planned? No. <laughs> <laughs> We at Bugatti this Sunday. Facts. It's a local bar, Peas club, whatever you want to call it, in Bridgeport, Connecticut. I'm having a birthday party there. Mm-hmm. And I'm having a dinner on my actual birthday. Then I'm just around. You're the only person I know that plan your whole birthday weekend. And your own birthday weekend. <laughs> no, actually, I didn't plan. I did, but she been I, talking about this for months. She said, no, "I gotta I plan not. my birthday weekend." <laughs> no, I have not. I don't know if you. I feel like if you, you gotta put something towards your birthday. Like mm-hmm. you can't just expect all your friends or family, whoever around, just to plan every single thing. No facts. And then I'm ending it with a brunch with Jean Jane and Tone at Terminal One Ten. That's also a nightclub in Connecticut, New Haven. What's that Sunday? That's Sunday, April third. April third, Sunday. Shout out to Jean. Mm-hmm. What's up with you, Jay? Nothing. We following Angie around all weekend. So. <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing. You stepping on my headphones, my sorry, nigga. Sorry, sorry. I just y'all got bet, these I, shits, Y'all better get a lot of fucking rest. Yeah. Because I've been taking vitamins and shit. <coughs> I'm fucking ready. I'm ready, too. My bad. See, I'm fucking up already. Mm, you hung on. We can edit that out. I'm going to the intro. We edit that out. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Welcome to another episode of Take It How You Want Podcast. I'm your host, Forever Rel. As always and forever, I got the gang with me. Angie's here. Jay is here. We got an audience with us. My brother is in the building. El Mundo is here. Special, just, special a guest. Special guest. That's my bro. I Cash can't wait for building. this interview. I can't Word. wait for this interview. Cash is in the building. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> nah, Cash, you up next. We got to get you up here next, man. We got to get you up here next. <laughs> Word. Word. <laughs> Hell yeah. But yeah, man. What's going on? What are we talking about today? Yo, what happened with um, Young Thug Bay Mother? I just heard about that, like, yesterday. She got, sh- that's who got shot at the bowling alley? Yeah. That's crazy, mm. my nigga. That's tough. tough. I heard she was hyped up. Over a bowling game? Though? Yeah, that's why I don't be with men. I don't, was it a group? What they say? A, a group shot her? Or I don't know nothing. I just heard this yesterday. Last yeah, night. Yeah, that's why that's I, don't, I don't be with that. I don't, mm, mm, you gotta be careful. Condolences to that man. Condolences to Young Thug. Yeah, rest in peace to her. I don't even know her name or nothing, but I heard it was his uh, baby mother or whatever. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody killed her at a bowling alley. Yeah. They oh, saying it was over. They saying it over. They saying it was over like a bowling game yeah. or something. It was an altercation. It was yeah, an altercation ball. over a bowling ball inside the bowling alley. A and then And then when everything was over and she See, was walking to her like car, no, popped her. That don't sound like no bowling ball beef. Like Who knows what it was? All I know is to kill somebody over it. anything in the world, but it's never right. gonna be bowling. Like there's right. no reason. Like, and I'm not even making a joke of it. I'm just saying, like niggas had their pride hurt. Man. Niggas be on drugs. I feel like it might be. It could Cause be like even if you beefing with her boyfriend, her baby father, whatever the case may, wherever the animosity bruised from, that's too much. Even if you be, that's, even that's if it's wild. a nigga that's beefing, say he beefing with Young Thug or something. I thought women and kids was off limits, like not these days. That's wicked. Very. Niggas ain't playing fear. Very much so. That's unfortunate as fuck. Rest in peace to her. Condolences to their whole family. That was wild. When I heard that, I was like, yeah, that's why you got, I don't know. What, I don't know what to think. I don't know. It's tough probably being a, ba- a baby mother or a girlfriend of a rapper in the inner city where they're from. Who knows what kind of hidden in my city be going on, but that's, that was that was tragic. Word. Yo, speaking of bowling, do y'all do double dates? Like, Not 
I never been on no double date. You never been on a double date? If I've been on a double date, it was somebody I was fucking talk to y'all. Look at what. Like a blind one, like a random one. Yeah. Never. 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 You? Why you want to talk about this? You no, I'm just saying a blind double did, date. Did you go on a double date recently? No, I didn't. Oh, I'm just saying. Okay. How do you, <laughs> you feel think? about double no, dates? Just, huh? How do you feel about double dates? I don't know. I've been on a few in the past, like blind ones, like you said. Like, I don't know who the person is, and I just, I'm saying, I just oh, tag along. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. What you thought I meant by a blind double date, like, bro? I don't know. I just, I just never even heard of that. I, I get what you're saying now. So nobody ever you had, you never had to be the wingman you never had to be the take one for the I team. I don't like I don't like that because you know if I get there and you a dub I'm gonna be pissed. Right, right, exactly. I'm gonna be pissed. If I get and then it's always nah. the nigga the nigga always act like he didn't see her like yo bro I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see her. <laughs> like he ain't, no no <laughs> nah we not no. doing that because if nah, I walk gotta, in exactly you gotta show me her Instagram you gotta send it through like you gotta show me her then you gotta fake the fuck and all that yeah because then what happens when you get there and you don't like her what's that yeah you gotta fake yeah you gotta fake the funk I don't wanna do any blind dates. Right. Friends, listen, I don't want blind dates. Nah, facts. I don't want blind double dates. I want to know who I'm dating, who I'm going with. I want to know what kind of sneakers they got on. <laughs> I don't want to. Nah, all you got to do is send the Instagram. <laughs> send the Instagram. I don't, I don't like those. I don't like those. I don't like those. <laughs> nah, because you just never know what you're going to walk into. I feel like y'all both be lying. Y'all be not trying to admit. I Nigga, never you look like you double dated before, Jay. You sure? I never you look like a selfish nigga. You don't even want to put nobody on. <laughs> he want both bitches to himself. That's what he want. You did. You you portray this image for the podcast, but you really something else. No. <laughs> you I know what? what you okay. Mean? All right. Whatever. So you never had a chick that was like, "Yo, what's up with your friends?" Tell your um, my homegirl said oh, where your yeah, friends at. Yo, come to the club. Yo, you, you know, that's a that's a day kind of. Not really, because in a club, you could kind of move around more. But yeah. if it's at a bowling alley or a restaurant, right. you kind of sit in there like, ugh. Like, I've never had that situation. Yeah. I had somebody. Uh, you know what? Okay. I knew it. Now, now high school. See, it's always, it's always, it. you know what? Okay. <laughs> it's always, <laughs> always with this it's guy. Like, high school, somebody <laughs> asked me to come along with them because their girl was bringing up. How did the friend look? Bro. See? She had on them jeans See, without the pockets. They know I'm a light. Bro, so. it was a, he was like, yo, bro, just can you come? She had on them jeans without the pockets. She looked like jeans without pockets. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I don't like those, yeah, especially bad. these days. I don't know. I don't like those. Yeah, I don't like those. <laughs> Then, then they be feeling so uh, they be feeling so entitled. They might start flirting with you. Uh-huh. They might ask you for your number. <laughs> what you gonna do if she asks you? I want you. Can we just change numbers? You got to. You have no choice, bro. <laughs> you have to. Bro, if that's your real means, you have to, cause he's trying to complete a mission. So you gotta go. Along Jay, if you go on a blind date and a girl at the end of the day said, "Can I have your number?" What are you gonna say? Follow me on TikTok. There's no, there's no like reason for her not to get your number. You're single. You're out of the date. You fake the funk the whole time. I don't like how she looks. That's the reason. Childish. Huh? <laughs> so would you tell her that on a date? Is you going to be like, yo, I ain't really feeling you like that, shorty. I'm yes. just here, though. Yo, yo, I ain't going to hold you. Up, you know. You're not saying that on a date. I'm a, I'm you're not being like, yo, I'm not feeling you're you You're like a liar. No, 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 no. Are you listening before you answer? Uh, after, after, absolutely. I would be like, yeah, nah, to be honest. Nah, I ain't even gonna hold you. I might not give my number neither. If I don't like right. her, I probably am not gonna get my number. No, but if follow me on Instagram. What do you do when she asks though? Like, can we exchange numbers? Let me get your number. I don't really get my number out. You can follow me on Instagram. Though. I'm be like, what's your shit? <laughs> <laughs> good one. Nah, nah, nah. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, what's your shit? Uh, and, like that. and then that's that. Walk away. Niggas Walk don't know their number fast as fuck. Like, oh, I just changed my number. What's your shit? Yo, what happened with um, little baby and Jade? I thought they was together. Now they not. The, what's going on? Oh, man. No. Typical nigga shit. Yeah, you know y'all gotta break shit down. For me, Typical I, nigga shit. I just be seeing the topics and then I be hoping y'all. So he put me. up a story on his Instagram. 
with a guy, random guy, like, dancing. And it, he put the caption, like, when they think you could play with me or something. And then she responded, boy, bye, play with you. You play with me for six years. I sent one text back, and now you... Now you yeah, done you for know, good. She was texting Bow Wow or something. No, that was not true. And they both. Why it gotta be true? Why you suck your teeth? Why it gotta be true? Because Why it gotta be like true? Bow Wow out here getting busy. Bow Wow responded long. Oh. And he made. You said, know a nigga not lying when he make a long. <laughs> he <laughs> said, "I got too much respect for little baby. I'm in my own lane. Y'all always involving me and stuff. I didn't. Te- it wasn't me who she texted. And she responded too in the live." What did she text though? And it's texting. She- I don't want to talk about that. I want to know what possessed you niggas to just who do y'all think y'all is? He dog her for si- it goes back to what, what I'm Jay talking about. Say. We can't no. handle the shit that we do. But dog, no, so no, no. Like listen, listen, hold on, hold on. Once you decided to take me back, you decided to. How me. you oh, know oh, she I took him back? Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Once you decided to take me back, you decided to forgive me for all of that. So ain't no, oh, there's my get back. Oh, now you're testing. Here's what I think happened. Come on. Yeah, her response was here's what I, here, I didn't like the way she was here, Here's to the Here's what I think happened. I don't think she ever fully took him back. I still, to this day, never seen her since he got caught when he had sex with that stripper. I never seen her post him, like, lovey-dovey, or nothing. You don't know what they going through. I feel like he was guilty and tried to get his bitch all the way back. But it doesn't work like that. She, I swear, I'm not lying for her. She never. <laughs> she said, "I'm not lying for her." Like she, she never. Like she told her. She never, cause like I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm, I'm the, wo- I'm the woman, <laughs> and I follow her, and cause I admire her, and I never seen her confirm they back together. I see her post. But you don't have to say we back together. We can see it, y'all. No, y'all doing y'all. He vacation. mad cause he bought her. What he got her for? For Valentine's Day, a, a Bentley. He got her a Bentley. He decorated a room. He did nigga shit when you try and get your bitch back. I never seen right. her. And I said to myself, I was like, when he decorated the room with mad roses and stuff, and she posted a text like, babe, what the fuck? And he was like, oh, anything to do make you happy. Da, da, da. I, she didn't even at him. Like, she never mm-hmm. confirmed it. So mm-hmm. you can't do that. You can't do that. You on my time now. I was on your time no, for six is, years. Now you on my time. All right, Jay. Huh, nothing. Jay, that listen. don't even make any sense. Jay, is texting, if you if you catch a girl texting a nigga, is that yes. considered cheating? Come on, man. You already know what's up. How you feel, Ian? Yes, if, I, if you catch me texting a nigga, that's considered pre-cheating. All right, so what are we justifying here? They not together. They're not back together. Obviously, this is little baby, so if he's making a deal about it, She's not leading him he's on. He's making a he deal about it. He's making a deal about it because he's a typical nigga. We're not going to make a big deal about something because niggas is quick to say, you not my girl. Who knows? So she probably said thank deal? you to somebody and he had a he having a bitch fit if like this. That, they would have put it out. It's something deep. The text is... No, they wouldn't have. Yes, they would have. If it was the Mm-mm. simple text, she would have put it out. Mm-mm. She would have been like, thank like you that to a nigga. I feel like, all in all, I feel like she's single. I don't feel like they're officially back together. I feel like he thought he could do what he want to do, like you always. Up for Jada, my nigga. So what bullshit. if I am? So I'm like, right bullshit. is right Fuck and wrong is wrong. Fuck all the six years wrong. he did, like Jay said. She took him back and fuck all that. the six years what he did. Not fuck it, but she said fuck it when she took him back. Thank you. How y'all know she took him all the way back? Because he bug it? Cause he yes. bug it? Yes. No. That's man. his. No, girl. that's she your. She would have said that. She would have been like, nigga, we not even together. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. See, we we kind of outnumbered Jay, so we gonna chill. Girl. We kinda, uh, we kinda nah, I don't I don't think they was back together because she never confirmed it. When we be back in love, we be in love, women. A good woman, we posting you. We uh, she didn't do any of that. She posted one TikTok when they was on vacation. They was doing a dance. They on vacation. No hearts, vacation, no nothing. Though. He popped up on her vacation, and that was and confirmed. A, like, it's not like they just they have a child together, so it's like. You know so? how that is. So? You know how that is. So? 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 <laughs> My boy Drew came oh, in the building. Yeah. Yo, we had Drew on the podcast <laughs> last week. And, and he, he popped back. up this week. He love the vibes. He, he, he love these vibes. You came at the right time, too. We got rappers in the <laughs> building and all that. And I... I you, you 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 got your now, mic stand? I'm for that. Let's you you got your mic stand because I'm airing it out today. What kind of weed is that? <laughs> hey. 
This shit fire. I told you. Yeah. I'm not gonna hold you. That is crazy. Do the duty. Speak on that. Do the duty. Do the duty. Do the duty. Do the do the do the duty. <laughs> Yo, this shit is fire, Mo- This is Yo, fire, Mundo. Woo! That's we got crazy. my motherfucking brother in the building, Stamp Mundo, El Mundo. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, in the yeah. building, yo. Killer. That was back outside. What's that off of um, closure, right? Closure. Nah, nah, I ain't no. That's just a single. That's just a single. Uh, Available on iTunes. Oh, you didn't put it on yeah, Apple Music. Did you put that on closure? No. Mm-hmm. Closure no, on that's EP. A, that's my single. That's word, the pushing single. I'm pushing well, That's fire, man. If y'all don't got that, go get that. Available on all platforms. I just did. Facts. You just got it? Just, yeah. look, look, look. Yeah. I listen to Mundo every week. Almost every day, him and Duty, they're in my playlist. His and hers out right now. Shout out to Cash. Cash. His and hers. Cash. Cash. Oh, she right behind the scenes. Uh huh. Listen up. What's up with you, Cash? We got to get you up here next, man. I'm coming, man. I told you. you next. We're going to have to just line Duty up next, right back to back. Okay. Word. Oh, excuse okay. me. I should call you Cash on camera. I don't want to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot y'all got rap. I forgot y'all got rapper names, my nigga. My bad. I be knowing niggas. I know niggas in real life. <laughs> so Mundo is good, man. Matter of fact, speaking of names, how you got the name El Mundo? Because I think that's fire. I think that's dope. I this, this really this some real shit too, right? Like so, like young, like my mom, like she always used to be like, you know, like you know, regular shit. Like you, you my world, regular mm-hmm. little shit. Oh, okay. But I never knew how to put it, and I knew I didn't want to call myself world like that. Yeah. So you know, me being a G, like young Jeezy, uh, man. You thought you was, got, you thought you was Puerto Rican. You to switch nah, 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 nah. You know, <laughs> I, I'm 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 bilingual. I do everything. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. So you really got that from your mom? Yeah. Hey, hold up though, young Jeezy. Word. Big mm-hmm. job. It's the world, El Mundo. Um, so I'm like, he ain't El Mundo because he Jeezy. So I'm right. Like, it's the world, my nigga. Yeah. That's fire. Crazy where inspiration could come wow, from. Wow, I man. never Word. knew that. Did your moms ever give y'all any nicknames? Like, or yes. Boo-boo. What's your nicknames? Do y'all <laughs> Boo-boo, that's it. Boo-boo. She still call you that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> my, dick day, my dick day for my family is, uh. is crazy. And I don't, like, I like it. It's crazy. It's crazy? That's the nickname? No, it's oh, Usa. <laughs> Say it. We want to know what it is. We want to know what it is. Nah, it's, it's Usa. <laughs> Usa. 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 Where'd that come from? I was bad when I was little. (laughs) 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 What the hell? (laughs) I swear to God. Yo, that's My mom never called me. She called me Mama. She called you up? Mama. Oh, yeah. 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 As I got older, she shortened it to Ma. My mom used to call me Tugga. I don't even know where that came. Tugga. Come here, Tugga. Come here, Tugga. That's what she used to call me. (laughs) She still call you that? Nah, she don't really call me that no more. Okay. (laughs) I haven't heard that in a long time, but like her friends and people that know Mm -hmm. us for years, they still be like, Tugga. Tugga. Grow me now. Some of my aunts still call me that, though, too. (laughs) But worry, yo. Yo, you know what? I got to tell y'all, this is how on some real shit, me and Killer linked up in a crazy way, and I told him yesterday, I'm like, yo, I got to tell them how me and you really linked up and we really got tight, because I really got a special place in my heart for Killer, he know that Aww. shit. I, I got I to gotta call you El Mundo, my bad. See, I told you I'm not good with the name. I don't know what to call him. You know, we got- <laughs> Mundo Levert. Mundo Green. Talking to Mike. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Mundo Green. I ain't used to this. <laughs> this dope. What shit? Right. We got to get Mike stands for our, our guests next time. Nah, That's like this. Just make you stay, like, pay attention a yeah, lot, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to get you ready. You yeah, 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 yeah. I like yeah, it. Yeah, man. Nah, but so listen. So it was at a time I just had got. It was like. 2016, 2017. Remember, I got into that bad car accident. Mm-hmm. I got into a bad car accident in my Infinity. I hit a tree. It was a bad accident. Broke my ribs, fucked my leg up, all types of shit. So I felt so defeated, and I was so like, I don't know. I was embarrassed a little bit because you know, I was I was a little I was a little drunk. You know, you feel me? So 
<laughs> I was a little drunk. I was a little, I was a little drunk. It was, I, was, I was trying to text in my phone at the same time of driving. It was raining. It was a lot going on. Long story short, I got into a bad car accident. So, like, probably like three days after me getting out of the hospital, like I said, I felt, de- I felt defeated. So I'm like, yo, I got to go outside, show my face. Like, I got to go outside. So mm-hmm. my, I try to go to motherfucking, what's this shit right here? Uh, the strip club, there used to be Shakers or whatever it used to be. Keystone. 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 Perfect was having a party there and shit. So I go in there by myself. I got a rental from the rental company. So I go there by myself, my car total. Go there by myself to have a little drink. And I walk by, I walk by Mundo, and he stopped me. He like, yo, you that, you that nigga, my nigga. He like, yo, I fuck with you. Out of nowhere, me and this nigga, we always knew each other through mutual friends and all mm-hmm. of that or whatever, and our baby moms and shit like that. Like, so we always knew each other. <laughs> my fault, my nigga. You didn't. <laughs> you this can't go. This can't go. Moral of the story is, moral of the story is when I seen him, he said that shit to me. He's like, "Yo, I fuck with you, my nigga. You that nigga, my nigga. He dat me. He dat me hard as fuck. My, my ribs, bro. My ribs was fucked up and all that shit. So that shit hurt. But I needed that confidence, my nigga. Right. I needed that boost of confidence, my nigga. So then that was it. That wasn't even it. The next day, I woke up, and the nigga DM me. He like, yo, I really mean that, my nigga. Like, you really that nigga, and you a good dad and all that. Sh- I don't know. What, I don't know if he knew about the accident or not, but he just, he just, he like, yo, I really mean that, my nigga. You really a good nigga, da da da. You a good dad, all that too. Fuck with me. And ever since then, we locked in. I think we met up at a bar one time. We had some drinks and shit. We started talking about some music. And we locked in, and we've been locked in ever since. And this is really my brother. I really fuck with this I nigga. I feel like, like he meant so it too, cause he don't talk. You, he don't man, talk to like, people. He don't and talk you, to people. Yo, and the nigga's not a friendly nigga. At no, all, he like. ain't. No, he <laughs> ain't. The nigga I'm a friendly dude. No, no. You really know him. He no. a silly ass you nigga. You don't talk. Yeah, you all he do friendly, is play around. But you not friendly. Yo, but listen, I meant that. Now, I know you meant that, bro, because you hit me the next day and you said the same thing. And you ain't even. I told you this yesterday. You ain't even have to say that to you to me. Like you feel me? And that shit felt good, bro, because I needed that. Like, my nigga, you know, you got your family and your friends around you mm-hmm. that that's checking on you, that was there for you when shit happened or whatever. But just to hear it from somebody that didn't have to tell you, mm-hmm. I could have just A lot of people you. admire people from a distance, out of silence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This generation can't give people their flowers, can't say, oh, you look nice. Oh, I love that. So I, I know he meant that. Because nah, nah, I know that's he facts. meant that. That's real. Because we live in a generation where motherfuckers be hating or they just be standoffish. Nah, nah that's fine. I, I think I see I see, used to see real all the time just like just grinding just well, just fact. doing him kid no. his daughter you feel me I knew I think I knew his daughter name before I knew his real name because mm-hmm. I paid attention you feel me so it was just like mm. I got a daughter so it's like that's dope like that right. shit dope and mind you as my daughter growing I'm learning how to be a dad through literally social media like a little mm-hmm. bit you feel me because i'm coming home and it's the people shit. you got around you if you got yeah, good exactly. niggas as good fathers around you and shit that make you a better that father good father shit uh, is very nah, is very nah, like facts. attractive and very you, uh, like for that my boy mm-hmm. but where did you start doing um when did you start doing music like when did you first first officially start rapping because you rap like you've been rapping your whole life yo honestly <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy my uncle put my uncle put a Poodle Jack is yeah, fire, so bro. So, like, this nigga is, like, a, a mastermind genius. Yes, he like, is. Like, yes, he, like, he is. I'm talking about, I'm, like, four or five. This nigga coming to the house three in the morning. I'm knocked out. Mm-hmm. Mind you, my grandmother. Yeah, like, my grandmother adopted his mother. So, it was yeah. like, He come in. Mind you, this is my role model. Like, this nigga, yo, come in here, hair different colors, all type of shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? He like, yo, listen. I remember it's like, he'll play a jacket edge beat. Mm-hmm. Like, Right, I'm going crazy to this. Who is talented, I'm like, yo, man? I'm like, yo, I'm young. I'm like, bro, I don't know how to write no rap. I'm yes, you do. Shit. Like, that shit whack. But go ahead, keep writing. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, but it was like, and then seeing him, like, he'd be there, and then he'd be gone for years. Uh, and then it was like, I speak to the nigga, and the nigga, like, you still writing? It's like, I'm like, yeah, but I'm lying. I'm in the streets. Mm-hmm. Like, you yeah. feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But he used to be like, right, right, like you feel me, Ty, like you. Yeah. But this nigga say a rap on their phone, crazy, mm-hmm. like oh shit, like I can't do that. Yeah. Right. So that's what. <clears throat> so when did you like said to yourself though, like right, I'm gonna take this serious, and I ain't gonna be capping about it? Yeah, or was it, just, was it just was it just like like, like recently? 
Recently. Honestly, recently. I never really... I always did it to nah, do Nah, it. it can't be recently. Nah, you probably misunderstood listen, my this question. I'm going to say recently, though. This, let, me, let me say this. Do you know, like, Cash? Cash. <laughs> cash. Cash, you know. Yo, listen, Cash, you know. You're a killer, man. That's what you're saying. You're a Cash and Moon, though, shit. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> cash, you know, like, I'm talking about, like, to where it's like, this all in, this what it is. I'm talking about, you know, we always kept a foot in, foot out, all type of yeah, crazy stuff. I'm talking about, like, telling myself, like, I can't be in, I can't be out, I gotta be all that. And that's recently. Mm -hmm. that's Any other time, it's like, whatever. You feel what I'm saying? Any other time, it's like, whatever. Like, I, whatever happens, happens. Mundo might be it's here It's hard today. for me to believe you because you came, you came out with so much fire music before recently, mm -hmm. but I understand where you yeah. told yourself, listen, this yeah. is it. But I think I understand what he's saying, because it's I like, could, I could, I could. Yeah. when you talented like him, you could still be playing around with your craft mm -hmm. and go in the studio sometime and make some fire and then just like, and you could do that mad times, my nigga. A nigga might be running around all day long and then just be like, yo, I'm bored. I'm gonna go to the studio, right. drop some fire, and then never really put it out like that. I never promote it, just lay by here it in the car, you feel me? Yo, yeah. that's but lately you've been you just yeah, dropped the freestyle like we just listened to that that's fire you've been really moving like so was it like was it being incarcerated and like being away that really made you take it serious and take your craft serious be honest because yeah. I, I hear a lot of niggas say but that what like, was it like just nah, incar let me tell you about incarceration you know, like, we all know about like being locked up but what i'm saying like mentally would it do to you mm -hmm. this is what people don't talk about with each other like mentally would it do to you it don't only sex you back in years it sex you back mentally Mm -hmm. Like, and everybody thinks, like, when a person come home, they just dead. Yeah. You ain't dead. You ain't even the same person you was. Nobody's the same person. You got to figure it out, though. So that's what kind of made me. I took time. Bro, you used to call Talking me. Talking to the mic, my boy. Talking yo, to the mic. You, you used to call me. This dude used to call me. Fresh. Yo, drop this. Drop mix it. You got to drop this. You got to do this. Everybody, bro. But they ain't understand that I was just, like, in a place where it was like, I got to figure this shit out. Mm -hmm. But nobody understood mentally I was there. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm listening to niggas like Lil Baby and Lil... I'm in a car with these niggas. Yeah. I'm listening to the heat they playing. They talking about you gotta drop. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, I got the... Look, me, I place myself up there automatically. So mm -hmm. when I listen to these dudes, right. Lil, Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, all them dudes, I'm like, damn. These dudes, like, they going crazy. Now you feel like that's your competition. You're not even looking... Not competition, open. but nah, hell no. Because I know I'm, I'm Mundo in the world. Who you think... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's your since we said local? Who's your who's your favorite local artist besides yourself? Besides yourself, and, and besides Cash, you can't say but so besides Cash. All right, give me five. <laughs> give me five Cause local artists. That's, that's your that's your favorite local Cause artist. Because we because that's Yo, a what you like. What's a no brainer what about it? That's crazy. That's a no brainer. Nah, that's a no brainer because it's you Cash. Got cash in there. It's it, yeah. Nah, that's all. I was gonna add it. Cash. <laughs> It's, it's QB. Absolutely. Off rip. Absolutely. He's in my that mind. is. It's lower. That's me. It is what it is. Right that's how it's coming. That's how I'm coming. Um, you got Sholi. Sholi, absolutely. You feel me? Look, we got him on the spot. Look. You got, um, Look, we got him on the spot. Nah, because I love dose and I yeah, love. See? Right. That's you, all you North damn, You damn right. right. You damn design, right. Nigga. But you damn That's right. I mean, I mean, you damn That's right. That's where it's at. I don't see no, and this is not, no, I'm not no drill rapper. I ain't no B. I know that. I ain't none of that. But I don't see like too many guys that's really, really talented from you know, if they out there, I would love to work with them, but I'm saying, I don't yeah. know. The names I'm saying, and Doze. Mm -hmm. Doze is yeah. fucking Doze. crazy. Doze. Doze is crazy. Like, I've, I worked with Doze. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah, guy. Like, you and Doze got a fire record. You feel? And I can't forget my boy, Trav, from New Haven. Word. Yeah, I don't know Trav. I'm I don't, telling I don't know him, but shout out to See, that's what you got. I know Trav from New Haven. I'm telling you. From New Haven, he's crazy. Yeah, Mundo say he's so fire. who he's who's fire. your favorite rapper of all time? Rapper of all time. Yeah. Who inspires you? My Uncle Puda. Like celebrity rappers. Not no none. Yeah, yeah. Uncle Puda. Puda. I see so much of Puda in you that I believe it. Like, I believe I it. So, I mean, just Look, it is just with, joking. Yeah, I was like, take it how you want. Jack. Take I it how you want. If y'all know him, y'all would know I'm not lying. Yeah. You would know I'm not lying. That's, that's right. my 
Blah, that's my brother. That's my good brother. So, do you listen to any celebrity rappers? Hell though? yeah, I listen so to So, like, who's your favorite one? Who Fav- you listening to right now? Like, right now, right now, I'm listening to. Um, come on, yeah, I know Smirk. I'm listening to yeah, Smirk. Yeah, facts. Everybody listen Smirk, to Smirk. Like, I listen to Smirk. Smirk, yo. Smirk is is what it is. That's what he just streaks. You feel me? That's what it is. So, what's your like? If you could do a feature with anybody, like, what's your dream feature? Adele. Adele? I love Adele. I didn't expect Adele. that. Adele? I, I, I don't know. I love Adele. I this love Adele. Talking so much Adele? I can hear Adele on the record I love right Adele. Now. Adele. You listen to Adele? Huh? You listen to Adele? Me? I love Adele. Yo, he put me on it so much. He put me on it. Um, what's the nigga name from um, DC? The Brent Fire? Brent Fire. And it's it so Brent. crazy because I can see it. Ass yeah, shit, my nigga. Nah, Brent Fire is too. That's my You put Brown on the Brent? Brent, Brent that's my guy. Brown put me on the Brent. Fire. I put her on I'm the bread. No, wait, 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 I'm wait. Put you on first. Who, but did Ralph put you on? Hell no. Who put you on the bread? Cash put me on the bread. No, I, I swear to God, on. Cash did. Who put you on the bread? Him? The bird. Oh, I. The birdie. Nah, I do it. The <laughs> the <verse. laughs> but nah, yeah, it's, 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 it will be them. So Adele is your dream feature. Or Brent, yeah, That's either dope. one. That is so dope, and I could totally hear it already I in my ear. I could absolutely hear you with Brent. We might have to make that happen. Nah, Brent, we my guy. That we are, Brent, that's Brent, not Brent, no, we keeping it P. He know what I'm talking about, too. He know. He talking that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jay over there quiet. You know what? We got a segment we in the show. We talk about music. I, listen, I love the No, listen. listen We're going to get back to new music in a second, but I got to put Mundo on real quick. We got a segment in the show where, because Jay's in a relationship. If talking no, about I am not. So what happens is he comes here with questions, <laughs> and he tries to act like he's trying to make topics, <laughs> but he really needs advice. I like this. All right. So, All right, Jay. Come on, Jay. Go ahead, Jay. What's going on For the 30 millionth time, I am not in a relationship. Yes, you is. Yo. I don't know where yeah. that came from. He just like to keep it low key, ladies. No. But he is off the market. I am. Nah, he don't look like a relationshiper. He don't. He don't. He give me. He give me. He finally just a nigga that he eat ass. You eat ass? Who me? Yeah. That's. I went too far. Who me? Come on. Do you? Ain't never know who that. Who do you though? But what type of question? He just had a question. He got a 22. Oh, alright. I was making sure. He just had a two podcasts ago. <laughs> um, What's going on, Jay? Listen, I wanted to ask y'all when y'all think it's okay, or when y'all think y'all should move in with your significant other. Ooh, mm-hmm. I've never lived with a significant other. Ooh. I don't. I wouldn't. Ooh, at this stage, that's I crazy. Get other if we don't live together. That's to crazy. be honest, say it again. At this age, I don't consider you my significant other if, if we, we don't, don't live together. <laughs> I feel like I you're too don't for a boyfriend can't, and girlfriend type shit. I can't move in with anybody I'm not married to. You what, Jay? I can't move in to, with anybody I'm not married to. It just wow. creates too much problems, yo. Wow. Can, I give, problems. can I give the guys, uh, like, a... No, you gotta, we got to answer his question. Yeah, answer. Yeah, answer. Right. We're going to gonna start with you, oh, okay. and then we're going to work our way down. <laughs> okay. When is it a good time? And y'all can answer, too. When is it a good time to move in with your significant other? <laughs> I don't know. I think because I like I have bad experiences, and it ain't nobody fault but mine. Mm-hmm. Let me say that for anybody yeah. watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Look how my boy took accountability off rip. He said it ain't nobody fault but nah, mine. Nah, but not even on the dog boy shit. But like, just I just feel like I feel like if y'all not in it, in it. Mm-hmm. Y'all should have y'all own spots. But, but if y'all in it, all the way in it, like, that's you. I, I feel like the best time to move in with that person is whenever you f- y'all in it, whenever you feel like she. So what's you. in it, though? Like, because in that moment, you be feeling like, uh, I, think I love you going into my. I think you going into my answer and what I was going to say, not to cut you off if you got more to say. What I was going to say is I think it's a good time for me to move in with a woman when I know that I just want to be with her and only her. When I know that I don't want to be outside no more and I'm ready to Nigga, yeah, when move is that in with though? her and still cheat. <laughs> Stop it. You go on Instagram. You I don't want to hear none of that. The first thing you do is scroll. you like, oh, shit. No, for real, though. But I don't if I feel like, because sometimes, you know, you deal with people, but you be like, yo, I still want to move around. I still want to go. I still talk to this other person, too. Da, da, da. Yeah. But when I find somebody that I feel like, all right, I don't want nobody else but you. So I want to be around you just as much as you want to be around me. Like, And I'm willing to sacrifice certain things to... 
be in a relationship and run my life in the structure of a relationship. So I feel like that's when I'm moving with somebody, when I feel like, all right, I don't want to go with her or her or her. I want to see you. And if I want to consistently keep seeing you, then why not live together? What about you, Ian? Mm, I went through that, and it didn't, it didn't end well. Mm-hmm. So it was a very, very big lesson learned. Um, so I would say never. I don't see myself ever living with my boyfriend. Um, Wait, why? <laughs> <That's just the laughs> why? That's yeah, because God. when you went through certain things, you know, you you, you learn PTSD. you learn you from it. Can't take a girlfriend serious if we don't live. Together. Nah, you can't. That's the, but see that this is. Let me talk. Can you never know I finish? You in my apartment when you That's the me. thing, though. I'm That's be, the problem I these need, days. As a man, which I don't mm. know, we need something at night. Exactly. Like, like, he, like you, I need to sleep next to somebody. Need, every yes. Night. If I, if and if it ain't you're my girlfriend, you better be right here because it's not. I'm gonna think you're doing something that's else anyway. Like, that's the prop. Like, that's that's the problem these days. If y'all let me finish, I'll, I'll touch in with it. Right. That's the problem these days. I don't know. I believe. I don't know. It goes deep with me. I feel like a man should have his own space and a woman should have his own space. That's the problem these days. Everyone. You meet somebody, you're in a relationship, and you so infatuated with each other, you just want to be up under each other, you're going to and that's the problem. You get tired of your significant I other agree. too quick, and then it, that's a number one reason why a man go cheat, why he stay out late, why he might stay out with his boys all night long till 4 or 5 a.m., and then go <laughs> home and sleep, wake up early in the morning, go leave again. Like, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, like... It, I don't. I don't want to do that. Like I want to. I want my next relationship. I want him to have his own spot. And bro, it don't mean that we can't sleep together. I'll come over there and sleep. You come over there and sleep. And what about the women who get in relationships with men and y'all move in with these women? They kick y'all out every argument. Get the fuck out, motherfucker. That's why you don't like that's not right. In the situation that's not right. That's First not all, right. Or you coming in, the vibes is all. As a man, cheap. you shouldn't be in a no situation where somebody yeah, can't exactly. kick you out in the first place. Yeah, yeah like, like anyway. even not even, not even if y'all moving, moving together, together, everything equally, oh, like it's just weird. It's just weird. I just feel like it's toxic to move in. Like, at what point do you move in with somebody? That's the question. At what point? For me, in the future, with my next relationship, I feel like, like I said, like, never. Like, I'm going to always want you to have your own. What's wrong with a man having his own space, his own crib, and we... I want to trust a man. See, but I crave shit. I crave shit. I crave shit. That's just. I crave shit. That's just not. Degenerous. I crave shit. That's just not happening these days. It's funny to y'all, but this is the problem these days. I want things. I want things that just not. Just not popular or lit or or common these days. Like, and I feel like it's literally common sense. And when I do get married or engaged or whatever the case may be, or if I've been with my boyfriend for ten years or whatever the case may be, he's gonna absolutely have his own space. He's gonna have his den. I'm gonna have my I own space. I thought you were gonna say y'all gonna he's live gonna separately. Live. I was gonna say he's gonna that. I believe. I believe, that a, I believe <laughs> that a man should have. I believe that a man should have his own space. It's all funny, and I get it. No, bitch, what the fuck you, you got? No, I'm, I'm just uh, talking. You getting mad. Bitch, no, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just I'm just I'm serious. No, I'm she not. She mad that she moved in with that nigga. And no, I'm not. Oh, not. Because you're not. No, this. She kicked the nigga out, <laughs> no, the nigga out with her head. I'm not doing this nah, never man. again. I'm on your That's side. the problem. My last relationship. My last relationship. I, don't, I can't speak on that. I don't want to speak on that. Not but not my cold. last relationship. Live, guy living with me, it just was tragic. <laughs> it was tragic. And I, I don't know, on top of what happened, personally, we were up under each other, literally. Did you love it at that time, though? No. Honestly, it made me realize, like, no, because I was, like, I was on Willow Killer. I wanted to go to work. I was, like, I was on Willow on my free time, Shout and this Street, person was, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Doing nothing, though. I wasn't cheating or nothing, but I just solely feel like a man should, we should equally have our own space. Like, I come like, on. Y'all never felt that when living? Nah, y'all never I felt like y'all woman? I feel like when it's love, you want to live under that no. person's skin. I feel like everybody wants to sleep together at the end of the night. Into the mic. Into I the feel mic, like a nigga want to do what he want to do all day long and then sleep with you at the end of the night. Yeah, nah, listen, as a man, I'm saying, you got key points. But 
when we love something, we all know this. Jay, you know this. When we really mess with a girl genuinely, we want to be around her. Absolutely. We want to come be over my house. We're going to show her all that. Once she show us something yeah. other than that, it's, yeah. And you're right. You're right, Killer. Yeah. You, could come, you could come to my house. You mm-hmm. might even have a key. Mm-hmm. But you get mad. You living there. All your stuff is there. If, if it wasn't for me or if it wasn't or if I moved in with you, I'm homeless. I don't got nowhere to live. I don't I don't believe in that I anymore. Know, but listen, what about if it's like this? Cause most of the time it only be us going there because the girls be out of like come here like I never I, said I, I wasn't gonna like, be like, that like, like, woman. We, like, yo, we good where we at. I like, never said we like, wasn't like, gonna yo, be that woman. We gotta go through the securities now. Mm-hmm. Why you gonna just come here? Why you gonna get the be like yo, cause I'm moving here. But now I gotta go through the insecurities now. It's like oh, I come here now. For a couple, a hey, month or whatever, it's good. No insecurities. But now when I go outside, and it's crazy. Now, my last situation. And then you end up, at, if you don't live together, you're in a relationship, you end up at your other person's house so much that it makes no sense to be have your own. What other place. person? Wait a the, minute. The, the person you're in a relationship with. Oh. Your nigga going to be at your house. If your nigga's at your house four nights out the week, then why I, don't y'all live together? <laughs> yeah. I understand what you mean. Like, why we just pay both one rent? My I bad, get it. I said it wrong. But that's we the problem. Up here. They smoking this rapper. That's that problem. Yeah. Yeah. How many times, time, nigga, how many times we've been, been in situations? <laughs> Listen, I can't Word. believe you don't feel me on this. How many times we've been bad, in situations? I'm trying to feel you, but he's smoking a rapper. Man. But, what, but, <laughs> but how many <laughs> times we've been in a situation where it did not work out with that person? Now you got to move out. Now you got to this. You got to that. Now you, like, come on. No, it's not like that. Stop, killer. But you we gotta live learn. and we learn. I don't know. I live and learn and, and I apply, my love, nigga. Like love I, I'm not scared of love. I'm going to be absolutely love in love not. with my nigga. You gotta. We could sleep together every night. We could sleep together every night, but I just don't feel like. But you want him to go, be able to go home so at the same you're time. Saying until you're ready for like Yes, I'm sorry, fellas. Not if you're you, interested in you me, you're not moving in with me, no, fellas. I feel her. I'm not but moving. I'm not me? moving in with you. Lo- Man. You're not moving in with you. me. I'm I not moving you. in with you. No, I want I you to have you. your space. I do, and I want to have my space. But I don't like, when y'all get to say that he space. To you. Didn't do y'all decide? I just uh, said not too long ago. Even if he's my fiance, or if we've been together like ten years or plus, or whatever the case may be, that's different. But so, these little three, so. four, two-year relationships—how do you know? <sighs> it's different these days. It take a long time. Word. We are tr- fucking yes. traumatized. All of, just, us, just all of us, all of us sitting here been hurt. All of us sitting here been hurt. I, we yeah, are. But I heard too. You can I heard people too. Be with somebody too. until you live with them and have to be. Oh, like, well, agree, you can agree. Agree. right. You can see how what you mean. Yeah, you I don't agree. See how a woman live when you come to her house every so, day. Right. You could come to my house. All right. So you you never li- you never live with this nigga, but no. you. Then y'all move in together, What's there? and he snored loud as fuck every single night I, to the point where you can't I, sleep. I definitely said. I told y'all said this was a good topic. We could sleep. To, what are you not? What are y'all not getting? I never said you can't stay over. No, I don't want you here. You can only come for a half hour. There, you can only stay about. He didn't snore. Well, but when y'all move in together, the nigga just snored. You know what it is? We just. We, as a generation, we just toxic, nice. and we stuck here. How we, <laughs> we stuck how is here? That toxic yeah. though. But you can find a way for that. What you mean? Like we toxic. But still, I just feel like you can't be in a relationship with my somebody. last you relationship. After a couple be- months, I told him come into my house, and he never left. <laughs> and he never left because I wanted him to be there. I wanted him to be here. In a situation he was in, he didn't have his own place. I did. So I said, come, let's be a couple. This is a couple. How are you going to be fucking with me and not living with me? Da, 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 da. And it just didn't work out. And every, repeat, Niggas everybody, that shit down and everybody I know, <laughs> throw you everybody the I know who stay. lives with their significant <laughs> other, everybody I know who lives with a significant other, either either the nigga be doing what he wants, staying out late, whatever the case may be, or didn't come, I don't know, they slip up, especially if y'all going through it. Like that's just what I feel. How right. you feel, Jay? Right. How you no, feel? He said he I said he said agrees with you. I'm, I'm a I'm a hundred percent on your side, it. Inch. So y'all got it. Yeah, I feel which it. is rare. We don't. And every to each his own. <laughs> you can feel how you want to feel, whatever. But I don't know. Like I just feel like it's too. It's a factual. I don't know. Like it's like it's like I want to be able to my next guy. I want to be able to trust him to know that he's home. Mm. 
And right, do you have to have a key to his apartment? Can he have a key to yours? I said that a little while ago too. You can have a key to my apartment. Oh, you did? Yes. I don't watch the rapper with you, my nigga. Huh? I wouldn't want her to have a key to mine though. Okay, why? Because it just don't make no sense for now me. Now you're not playing for you. No, I'm saying. Wait, so are you saying you. you but oh, with it without okay. access, she's like, here, babe, here's your key. Here's, I want you to have my spirit. Oh, that's key. different than the, I, I'm not going to just make it out there like, oh, here, you can have a key to mine. Like, no, that's not going to do it like that. Okay. But I feel you coming from. Like, why can't a space. woman have a key to your house? Because it's my sanctuary. That's where I go to do whatever I want to do. And whatever I want to do is my business. But me, hey, you feel me? It's sad that if you if a man has his own place we these bumped days, we into a good topic. This is a good topic. It's man. sad that if a man has you know, his own place these days <laughs> and he's in a relationship, <laughs> he feels that way no, though. Oh yeah. You know? No, 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 no. He no, feels no. that way. No, I'm saying if I did feel that way, no, I don't. I don't know. I'm just tired of getting in these toxic guy relationships and then like. You not like you live together. Your nigga might not come home. He might. I don't know. It's just like but he you might don't not know. come home to his own home. These days, yeah. right? That's it's just day. you true. You true. accepted That's that. That's not gonna stop a nigga. Not come. As a matter of fact, it's gonna be worse if yeah. he, if he I, don't got nobody and, to come and, home. And, to. and I feel like I'd rather him not go home to his house than not come home to our house. Okay. That's exactly why you're gonna Niggas have your own shit. And, from and together, I'm man. gonna have my own shit. I feel you, sis. Sis, you good? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Shout out to Bila. Shout out to Bila. Shout out to Bila. What's your why? overall perspective? Oh, I mean, I man? just, I just don't like. I feel like relationships don't always last, and when you jump into living with somebody that you're not married to, it creates so many problems. And then what? The E word. Uh, entitlement. Entitlement. Quick. Things like that. And, oh you know, I just rather be in, I'd rather be married to you. So we both got our name on a mortgage or a lease or whatever. And we moved in together. That, but yeah, why? That's... Why do I want to share? See, I account? feel like why this. If we're not married. Do all that with we're somebody not I'm not married, married to. And we're, but we're soft. Like, you you know, y'all. Y'all know. know but Whatever any... feels different these days is marriage. real. Because everything want... feels the same, y'all. Y'all know what I'm coming from. Everything feels the same. Y'all know. Whoever half on bills with me, hit me up. Because I'm yeah. down with it. I don't know what they talking about. I'm trying to go half on these bills. Yeah. I got I'm these happy. kids. I'm, I'm happy. trying to go to peas on Sunday. I'm happy. It's a lot going on. And Andrew, mad, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm not mad. To, <laughs> listen, I'm not mad. That's what He's makes us Sunday. all different. That's what makes us all Come different. On, you toxic, bro. You I, toxic. I don't know, man. Ooh, we go. We've yeah. been established that. Yeah. Toxic. Stop, stop, stop giving and me I've been one, there nigga. before, but I'm just ready to just out. I, I just said I don't want to move in with somebody until I feel like that's the only person I want to be with. In that that's, moment, that's though. That's what I no, in I'm not talking moment. about in that right. moment. No, but I'm talking about. You can feel like no. that. Can that you moment. have a. Listen. And then if it doesn't listen, work, it doesn't well, work and we go our separate ways. Can you have a girl. And then we but now you can you have, out and like, yeah, Can you have that. a girlfriend, a solid girlfriend that this is the person you only want to be with and live two different places? Yeah, I've done it before. Okay. Yeah. We've done okay. it more times than I've m lived with somebody. Okay. But I'm just saying, if I'm in a serious relationship with you and I'm calling you my girl. And I don't. I'm not dealing with nobody else. I don't want to be with nobody else. Then why not live together? Why not make it easier on each other? Build. It's mm -hmm. times is hard right now. So why not? I'm saying. Why not? I feel you. I feel like in that. And Does that make me toxic? You when, said I'm toxic because. And when I feel you real, and when you realize that might be after six, seven, eight years. Uh, these why days, are you with nobody right now? Like, these days, you know, happy. like can we just shift what yeah, we do? Can we change up how we? How, and you what was on we're my doing? side, right? You said you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps saying Look. he happy. <laughs> Killer. <laughs> Yo, you know what's my shit right now? What's that shit? It's five in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, bro. That joint fire. You just got put on to that? My mind. No, I've been heard it, oh. but I didn't know who, like, sometimes I hear songs and I hear them all the time, yeah. and I don't know who it is until, like, I hear it, and mm -hmm. then but I just downloaded it, though. I That's really need, I really need time. I feel like repeat all the way to fucking wherever I'm going. Cuz. Need That's a peace fire. of mind. What y'all listening to? What you listening to, Jay? Kurt Franklin dropped something? <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn, bro. Not even gonna hold you. Haven't been listening to music. Word. I be, I just got back to um making beats again. Where? I can't listen to music. Where's anymore. our intro beat at? In I, Tim, I'm, what's up? I'm we need our intro video. We gotta set we it up after video. this. You working our intro beat? I'm ready. We need something. Oh. This nigga that do air it out, man. Let's Yo, that's what we got. Drew, talk we about love too. you, Drew. Yo, that's what I wanted to ask you. We gotta talk know. about your ear it out. I don't know if Where we... you shot that at? Where was you? Under a bridge. But that's what I wanted to ask. Where? What bridge? Because I can't figure that in, out. In Fairhaven. Oh, in Fairhaven. Fairhaven. Yeah. Wait. In Fairhaven. Can I ask you on, real um, quick? Humphreys? Mm. The fuck is no? Killer, I thought you was in a city. No, nah, it wasn't. I thought you it was, was in a city. Haven. I thought you was in the Bronx. Nah, that was, that was, that's like my, uh, that's my second home. It was Fairhaven. Fair Haven. They know man. that's it's crazy. I do what I want out there. That's my second home. Okay. What happened at your ear it out though? Because if you've seen the ear it out, I don't have to say what happened. Oh at yeah, out? yeah, yeah. Nah, somebody, somebody. Because uh, that was crazy. Somebody was out. happy. I think they was happy and they came by and I guess they just started like. Uh, what? What happened? I don't know what y'all talking about. Did you see the ear it out? Yeah, I didn't really know the side. You said it on the ear it out. Look, right. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about you. it. You just gotta watch this ear it out. Watch this I ear it out. I did watch it. What is going over my head? For the people who didn't watch it, what happened? Yeah. He said it. <laughs> yeah, he oh, told the story okay. at the end. Okay. He probably cut it off right after he was done rapping. There was more. Yeah, I probably did. Before, I was th- before, right, Jack? <laughs> what, what else you got going? What's the, what's next? What yeah, you when's your what? next? When's, when's you your dropping? next? We're talking when about dropping? new music. What's when's your next project dropping? Welcome, what you got? Welcome to my world is dropping. I don't have a deal. Yet. Don't have a deal. When? But, yeah. but definitely, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all, huh? I was saying this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't talk to me. Yeah, it's called El Mundo. Why you didn't seriously. call it Welcome to El Mundo? Huh? Yeah, why you didn't call it Welcome to El Mundo? I don't know. Because I like, and if y'all notice how I spelled welcome. See, y'all didn't notice because y'all don't pay attention. I didn't see it. Because right. <laughs> y'all don't pay attention. Give us some more Facts. work. All right, welcome. I spelled, you know, W E L L. C O M E. So it could be like well come and welcome. Like yeah. in one like. Okay. Like, well come, like, okay. Feel me? I thought I thought anybody I thought he would have. So when do you think that's dropping? I know it's dropping next month. Okay. I don't know the exact okay. date. It dropped okay, next month. Okay, because I'm ready. <laughs> nah, and I, I'm coming. I ain't even like I'm coming. So y'all heard it heard it here first next month. Welcome to my world. We putting the press on them. We gotta hear that. Word. I can't Mundo, wait. Mundo had a um a, a, a good topic. Oh, he did about the um the hookah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my nigga. I'm talk gonna ju- you, let me nigga. talk about this. What? There is nothing wrong with a man who smokes hookah. Y'all stop. Nah, nothing, not. Nah, but how? No, but I'm talking to other people who's at oh niggas who smoke hookah is such. They nah, gave it. Nah. I know real niggas who smoke hookah. Me too. Me too. Ain't nothing wrong with smoking hookah. What you got? How you got to hold it? You got to hold it a certain way. You got to hold it like a cigarette. Hold it how you want to hold it. Yo, nah, yeah. listen. But one thing for sure, that's like eight. He said, yo, you holding it. He said, you holding the hookah. You like was holding that a little zesty. Yeah, hookah. I don't give a fuck what he talking. A little sassy. I ain't nothing wrong with that. Bro. It's not wrong with a man uh, who's going. The niggas smoke uh, out hookah, man. Not uh, wrong with that. I don't think nothing wrong with men smoking a hookah. Y'all need to I, stop I that. just can't do it. Y'all not going to hookah yeah. games tonight? Ain't ain't no I'm, I'm good on that. Oh, it's not? If Phil ain't DJing, there ain't no hookah games. Damn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Craig. I just feel that way. Wow. <laughs> All right. Damn. You wanna go? To take it how you want a podcast. <laughs> man. Hey, crazy. take it how you want. Shout out to Perfect. <laughs> take it how shout you want. Shout out to Perfect. I don't Bro, know. Shout out to Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Some... Play my shit. Stop playing with me. Oh, yeah, we got to drop. We got to. Stop playing with me, Skull. Stop playing with me, Yo, Skull. Come, come on, School. Sunday. Hold Sunday. Sunday. You coming to my birthday party? <laughs> If you come over, I'm going to make sure he plays. All right, facts. Hold up. Perfect. <laughs> Play my shit, Skull. <laughs> Play my shit. Yo. 
Welcome and to I'm my going world to dropping party. soon. I can't wait. Yeah, I listen to Killer Sunday. every week, every day. Yeah, him and Duty. I know you're gonna let this tape. Mm-hmm. I heard it's it. Just different. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's different. You get to hear it. How you get to hear it first? Why would not? What do you mean? You su- was you his manager at one point? Yeah, yeah that's you was. Bro. You I'm his Broinger. I'm always going to say it. I'm his Broinger. 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 That's facts. I'm yeah. always going to say it. We done did. I bro-inger. can't you remember wait. Remember Penthouse Day? We was, you remember that? Yo, Penthouse. We got to go with a mix. We got to do a song. You got to do a song called Penthouse, my nigga. Because you remember those days, my nigga. I told you when we first linked up, my nigga, it was, it was hard times for me. I was hurting, my nigga. Like, mm-hmm. Like I said, I've been to it because I know Cash for years. Me and Cash have been known each other for years. I've been, we've been, like, you feel me? But mm-hmm. when we first really got tight, tight, like, that was a hard time for me. We had great, yo. Yo, it was, shit, like movie, yo. it was like a movie, yo. It was like a movie. I ain't gonna like, bro. We those was downtown, was like, yo. Those was just good times, yo. We were shooting videos. We were going to the studio every night till 4 or 5 four, in the morning. Five, yo, going across the street. Yo, breaking up the breakfast every day, bro. Not real bad. Well, Killer, I'm one of your biggest we fans. We all saw how we're going, man. I'm one of your biggest fans. Thank you so much for joining us today. Word, appreciate you. I want you to Facts. tell them what's your Instagram. Stamp underscore Mundo. Okay. Yeah, you know, you already know. Make okay. sure you all go get closure. That's on Apple Music. Make yeah, sure you get his yeah. or her. Back Shout outside out single. Hers. Back outside single. So, Listen, man. if y'all never heard this man. Listen, Word. listen to you got a him. Bright future, my nigga. I love life, that man. pain I music, that, yeah, I say that, that relatable that, music, shit you can relate to. Word. Pain. <laughs> Thank you, you seriously. You podcast episode. What's this? Thirteen, right? Thirteen. Thirteen. How you want? Wait, what's this? Stamp Mundo in the motherfucking building. Thirteen. Good luck, my boy. You heard? You we out of here. Take it how you want. Take it how you want. <laughs>